Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got some updates on the Alienware X16R1. Uh, for those of you who have not seen my channel before, uh, welcome. Uh, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and would love a subscription. I am trying to grow the channel. Um, at just over or at 70 subscribers now. Um, my new goal is to get to 80. Uh, give myself a week to do that. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it. So basically, I was having some issues with Alienware Command Center, and uh, basically, it just it it wasn't opening at all. Uh, I couldn't run the software, and so uh, I had to take a little uh, break from doing some performance reviews and and that sort of thing. Uh, since then, I, I've taken some time to to learn uh, my way around some of the um, programs that are you know more frequently utilized to to show some of the some of the statistics that you guys wanted to see, like uh, the CPU uh, temperatures and uh, the wattage draw and all of that. Um, so uh, I have uh, had an opportunity to install MSI Afterburner and got all the graphs and things set up. So I will be doing some uh, some videos of that stuff. Uh, it'll be repeat material, but at least this time it'll have all the information uh, that you guys want to see on the screen uh, live during the test. So we'll get into the, into some of that stuff. Um, but uh, long story short, uh, Dell was trying to remotely fix the software. Um, they haven't been able to figure it out just yet, uh, but I got it done. So essentially what I needed to do was I needed to completely wipe the system clean. Um, so, you know, do a complete... Uh, factory reset and clean the drives. Um, once I did that, I was able to utilize the Alienware Command Center, uh, or I think it's called a Control Suite or something along those lines, um, that I was able to save onto a um, micro SD card. And uh, once I got everything, uh, once I got Windows reinstalled and all of that, uh, I was able to load that uh, program after doing all of my Windows updates and all of the updates that uh, Dell recommended for the system. Um, once all that was done, I, I did go ahead and install that uh, that Alienware Command Center uh, Control Management Suite or whatever it's called, and um, I was able to get it running. So the cool thing about that is I can now kind of show you guys uh, what the Alienware Command Center looks like. So this is the new one, and um, it's actually pretty cool because all of the overclocks are actually in these little tabs right here. So I was watching some some reviews on um, other folks who have these new Alienware systems, and one of the things that they didn't show is exactly how this this kind of works. So. For example, right now I have this imbalanced. So what does that really mean? Well, if you go over here and you hit performance and then go up here and you hit performance specs, this shows you what these different settings do. So right now I'm imbalanced. So hovering over, uh, let's see if I go to advanced, I think it shows me. So if you go here, in balanced, it shows that both CPU and GPU run at their rated power levels, uh, delivering an optimal balanced performance that your computer was designed for. Well, when you go over to performance, you see that GPU power consumption is increased above the rated power levels, and your system's graphic performance may be amplified while consuming more energy. And then overdrive shows that both CPU and GPU power levels are overclocked to provide the ultimate performance on exclusive hardware. Your system will prioritize performance and may result in significant energy consumption, temperature, and fan noise. So this is not, I didn't see anyone else go over this uh, specifically um, because this gives you an idea of what these different settings will do uh, to your system. So that said, um, Right now, I do have it on balance, just because I'm, you know, I'm not interested in doing any benchmarking at the current moment. Uh, right now, I'm just getting um, some things installed, and I'll be doing the benchmarking and things uh, a little bit later. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other things that are uh, going on in the command center. So one of the cool things uh, is this little toggle right here. So this will show you uh, temperatures real time uh, for both your CPU and your GPU. 
um, and obviously it's going to show your uh, memory and your your hard drives or your SSDs. When you click over to thermal, it actually shows you the fans, uh, how fast they're spinning, and the temperatures that, that uh, the uh, chipsets are running at. So right now it's in balance and you can see where the temperatures are and you see that the second CPU fan and the second GPU fan are not spinning. Well, if I go and switch this to say performance, it will affect um, all of the uh, fan curves if I were under load. But if I go to overdrive, it's going to affect them immediately. So you'll see that all of the fans um, begin to spin and they ramp up their speed and we'll see what the resultant uh, the resulting uh, temperatures are accordingly and we'll give it a minute here so you see the temperatures are beginning to fall now keep in mind, there is a load, it's not a heavy load that's going on in this system right now because I am doing some installing, um, but the temperatures are falling. I did some preliminary benchmarking and I can tell you that this absolutely does make a difference uh, with the benchmarking. Um, interestingly enough, and, and you'll see this when I do the benchmarks over, um, the GPU definitely uh, made your impact in uh, synthetic benchmarking performance. CPU actually got worse not a whole lot worse um but slightly worse particularly in times by um cinebench r23 it actually did uh pretty well um very close to what it was doing before uh however um you know i guess there is a bit of a trade-off here in, in in what the new alienware uh, command center uh, provides in terms of overclock but the system is completely stable, so you know you're get, you're going to get a, a decent um, overclock with uh, the stability that you'll need. So all good there. So let me turn this back to balanced, and you'll see the immediate difference in um, the acoustics of the system once the fans uh, settle back down. And actually, I, I feel like you can leave it in balance mode um, and be just fine. You don't even have to go into quiet mode um, because the fans are really, really quite silent as it is in balance mode. Now, some of the other things that I was able to play around with are the uh, lighting zones. So when you click here, you can go in, you can change your trackpad. So for my trackpad, uh, just because I just I put it on this uh, multicolored, uh, I don't know, spectrum kind of deal. Um, I probably won't keep it that way, but I did want to at least show you guys uh, what the new trackpad is capable of doing so it doesn't have to just be one color. And then I have this uh, uh, kind of wave effect going on with the, uh, with the keyboard. You can see that the uh, secondary keys um, are backlit really nicely done. Uh, one of the things that I didn't really notice before, and I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up, but you can see a very fine mesh in between those hexagon shapes, um, which is nice because you see it's already catching those dust particles, which I'll get a, maybe a little toothbrush or something like that to clean that stuff out. Um, but that's, that's really good. Um, let me show you around the back of the laptop. Um, I was also able to adjust the Tron ring, and I just set it to some little loop. Um, but there's a hundred uh, micro LEDs uh, in that um, in that light ring. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this for you. So that's pretty cool too. Um, one of the other things that I'm getting ready to do is with my uh, monitor. This is the Alienware. Uh, what is it? Thirty four twenty three DW. It's their um, QD OLED. The first one that they made. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back panel off and I'm going to connect the laptop to my monitor um, with this cable that I picked up. So this is an 8K uh, capable 
uh, USB-C to HDMI 2.1 cable. And the reason I picked this one up is because it does 4K 144. Now this isn't a 4K panel, however, um, it will do 2K, uh, two, I think 240. So I'll have to double check, but something along those lines. Now the refresh rate on this particular monitor is 175 Hertz, which, you know, is plenty fast for, for what I'm gonna be doing. Um, but I did just wanna kinda test this out and see how well that works. So anyway, that was a quick update for you. I will um, post some more content in terms of, uh, you know, benchmarks. Uh, to redo that to give you guys a better idea of, uh, you know, what the system is capable of. Um, I think I'll be able to do a much better job this time around. Um, but anyway, hey, listen, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by the channel. I'll continue to provide updates and, and more content and uh, really do appreciate all the support. Uh, the channel is growing, I would say, pretty quickly. Um, and it's because of you guys taking the time to like and subscribe. Uh, it's been, you know, really, really helpful. So I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video.